three, two, one, ignition. And lift off the Falcon 9, go AFB up. Vehicle pitching down range. Chamber pressure is nominal. That incredible view, of course, means that at T plus 33 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 4 East, carrying the two ASBM satellites. Now, after clearing the tower, as you can see a little bit on your power screen here, telemetry are nominal. there's good confirmations that our power and telemetry onboard Falcon 9 are looking good. At this point, we're gimballing the engines on the booster to initiate a slight roll maneuver. Vehicle supersonic. Call out there that Falcon 9 is tr moving faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's confirmation that we have passed through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. As Falcon 9 accelerates through the thicker, lower atmosphere, the air density decreases, but we're picking up speed as we head to space, which means we're shifting the pressure balance on the rocket as we ascend. When Falcon 9 passes through Max Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle, the air density has now lowered faster than the increasing speed of the vehicle. Great views there as Falcon 9 continues on its way to space. Now coming up shortly, we'll have three events in quick succession, and we should hear all of these called out by Mission Control, starting with MECO, followed by stage separation, and then SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or MECO for short, will shut down all nine one M1D engines on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation, which is when the first and second stages of Falcon 9 separate from one another. After stage one shuts down its engines and separates from the second stage, the booster will begin to make its way back to land. And the second engine will undertake SES-1, or second engine start one, where we light the MVAC engine on the second stage for the first time. Let's keep an eye out for all of these events happening in just about five seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Impact startup. Awesome views and confirmation that we have had main engine cutoff, stage separation, and of course, second engine start one. So the next major call out we're looking for is fairing separation. Right now, the fairing is protecting the ASBM payloads from the environments on ascent. But once we reach the vacuum of space, they're no longer needed. So at that point, the halves separate and are jettisoned away. Fairing separation confirmed. Great confirmation and views of fairing separation on your screen there. We will, of course, be attempting to retrieve those fairing halves once they fall back to Earth with our recovery vessel Go Beyond, which is also currently standing by in the Pacific Ocean. Coming up here in just a little bit more than two minutes, we are anticipating entry burn, which should last about 20 seconds for our first stage booster. But right now, of course, on your screen at T plus four minutes and three seconds into this launch, you have great views of your MVAC engine on the right-hand side of the screen, taking the ASBM satellites to their intended orbit. The next major milestone we're tracking for the first stage is the entry burn, which should begin at T plus six minutes and 22 seconds. To start the entry burn, we will relight three of the M1D engines on board the first stage, which is essentially similar to pumping the brakes to slow down the vehicle as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. That entry burn will help to reduce the heat generated from the friction of the atmosphere and reduces both aerodynamic are on nominal trajectories. Good confirmation there that both the first and second stages are on nominal trajectories.
So as you can see on your screen at this point in the flight, the second stage is still picking up speed and heading to orbit. On the left-hand side of your screen, you have a great view down the side of Falcon 9 and two of those titanium grid fins just atop the booster preparing for landing. Again, the Falcon 9 first stage supporting today's mission is performing this entry approach for the 22nd time. And that continuing to pick up speed and altitude in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The engines on board the first and second stage are actually quite similar, but the Merlins on the first stage are optimized for sea level. These achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust each during both ascent and descent. The MVAC engine, by contrast, has a much wider nozzle, which you can see on the right-hand side of your screen right now, and is optimized to 220,500 pounds of thrust in the vacuum of space. One of the next major milestones we're tracking here is Age going... entry burn startup. There's confirmation that we have entry burn startup on board our first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one entry burn shutdown. There's confirmation of entry burn shutdown on the first stage. And with that, we should have just about a minute until we hear SECO 1, or second engine cutoff 1, for the MVAC engine on board the second stage. Shortly after that, we'll hear the call out for the landing burn, which is the final burn of the Falcon 9 booster. Stage 1 FTS is saved. Good call-outs from Mission Control as first stage continues back toward Earth. Stage 2 FTS is saved. Stage 2 is in terminal guidance. Good call-outs from stage Mission Control. Stage 1 transonic from Mission Control, and with that last one, we know that Falcon 9 continues on its way back to Earth. Great views of those grid fins steering through the atmosphere as well. As a reminder, we are attempting to land this booster today on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed in the Pacific Ocean. Stage one landing burn. There's confirmation that yeah, landing burn has begun, and we are expecting this burn to last for about 20 seconds in total. Nominal orbit insertion. Landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. That was a beautiful touchdown of our Falcon 9 rocket. And of course, in the midst of all that, we also heard confirmation of second engine cutoff and nor nominal orbital insertion from Mission Control.